Hey everyone, welcome back to official MM2H Resources, where we dive into all things related to the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program. Let's get into it. Big changes are coming to the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program. Here's how the government is making it better, smoother, and more transparent for everyone involved. The Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, or MOTAC, is taking bold steps to strengthen the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program. Minister Datuk Seri Tiong King Singh has announced that significant improvements are underway to ensure transparency, effectiveness, and ease of operations for all participants. AMOTAC will be closely monitoring MM2H operators to guarantee that services are efficient, transparent, and compliant with the program's requirements. Minister Tiong has issued a clear warning any violations, including unauthorized fees, will lead to strict penalties such as license revocation. In a move to simplify the process for applicants, MOTAC is introducing a one-stop center. This center will handle all inquiries, ensuring clearer communication and faster resolutions. This step is aimed at creating a smoother experience for those interested in making Malaysia their second home. But that's not all. The government is collaborating with state authorities to standardize property purchase conditions. This effort will reduce confusion and ensure that cabinet decisions are consistently applied across all states. Exciting new improvements are also under review. These include extending the property purchase period for participants and replacing fixed deposits with insurance guarantees to provide more flexibility. These adjustments are designed to make the program more participant-friendly while maintaining its high standards. Minister Tiong also highlighted some valuable suggestions from MM2H operators. These include expanding language options for driving license tests, improving the translation process for official documents, and enhancing support for hiring domestic helpers. MOTAC is committed to thoroughly reviewing these ideas to further elevate the program. By prioritizing collaboration with stakeholders and refining its policies, MOTAC aims to attract high-quality participants who can positively contribute to Malaysia's economy. The goal is clear, to promote MM2H as a professional and welcoming initiative for global applicants. Ready to learn more about how these changes can benefit you? Visit our website at officialm2h.com for all the latest updates and guidance on the Malaysia My Second Home program. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or what you'd like to see next. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.